Hello, I'm Ron Grant, and this is my LFS robot contest entry called RonBot, and I'm about to run all three contest courses, and I'll run them at uh, 30 frames a second with a little time warp of about a factor of six. I think the net effect will be a, a run speed of about 1.7 normal. My robot time step is set at 100 steps per second. And here we go, running the contest. And oh, I don't have time warp, so let's kick in time warp. Okay, there's the novice time at 19.109 seconds. Now I'll advance to the advanced contest. Whoops, after making my report. So I'll advance to the advanced contest course. Click on start, leaving time warp set, and I'll run once again. And let's see if this is going to be successful. And it looks like we made it. Okay, time is 32.18 seconds. Now I'll advance to the advanced contest after logging that run. And here again, we'll leave time warp set. I'll make sure that I click on the start position, which is defined at 4812 with a heading, well, actually no heading is specified, and I'll say run contest. And when this completes, I'll demonstrate that I can run this uh, backwards, more or less. Or should be able to get through most of it backwards. So this has not been canned. Although it is being canned now. Looks like we're going to make it, hopefully. All right, 109.970. And okay, so I'll move myself out of the way here a bit. And I'll drop a marker pretty near the start. Let's see. Oh, I'll make the report first. Okay, report that run. Okay, now I'll come in here. Oops, click on the right screen. And I'll drop a marker right here. And now I'll go ahead and click the robot onto that marker, and then we'll run it backwards. And I'll run it, uh, I guess I'll run it as a contest also. Okay, I'll fish it out of the loop here. Oh, and it made it out of the loop. I thought I was going to need to rescue it. Oh, it messed up back. Ah, well, okay, I failed at running it uh, in reverse order. Let's let's see if I can. Uh, oh, since it's a contest, I'll end that. Cancel that report. Let's see if we can get it back on track. And uh, I've had success in running that in reverse. Let's see if we. Uh, oops, oh, it messed that up too. Ah, so maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. We'll see, I'll drag it over here. And it's a little hard to do while the controller's running. Hang on, there we go. We'll see if it should be able to do this acute angle in reverse. Originally, I didn't have that case set up, but I do have that one set. So there we go. Okay, a few flaws in the reverse run, but at least you know that I'm not faking this whole thing. So that concludes my run. And just in case anyone does want to see it, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and run this now in non-time non warp uh, mode. And it will run a bit slower than normal. So you may want to just stop this recording now. But just for fun, I'll let you see my robot run in, uh, well, that would be one-third normal speed. That's pretty slow. 
but um, let's see if we can tolerate that. Yeah, that may be painful to watch. I'm not sure I want to watch it. Um, let's see, we're running. What can we do with that? Tell you what, I'll stop the program. Let me do that. And what I'll do is I'll go edit the uh, the frame rate here. Let's see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bump this back up to about a hundred. It may not exactly do a hundred frames a second, but uh, we'll restart the sketch. And let's see. So now we're running at ninety. Okay, that's more tolerable. So now I'll go ahead and run this in uh, approximately real time. So it probably took less time to do that than to wait for the thing to run at that speed. And again, this is optional if you really want to watch this. You do get to see some of the decisions uh, and some of the, uh, some of the information, including a uh, bar graph or a, uh, a chart. I've got to think of the name of the chart. A, there we go. Oh, yeah, we messed up. Ah. Oh, interesting. Or did we? I might have looked away. <laughs> I can't even tell you now. Maybe it did just fine. The experience I've had is I've run rep with a repetitive or a, a repeatable run, indicating things are looking a little better. Let's see if it runs in that same time, 109. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, so it stopped at its original start marker. It didn't uh, pay attention to that other marker. So that looked pretty good. Okay, so that worked, and I'll report that. Okay, that concludes my presentation.